What's going on guys, Coach Joseph here, and I am going to go over our Wellness Thursday workout um, for uh, June 18th. Um, so this is kind of a uh, recovery workout, trying to uh, just get some, some blood going and loosen ourselves up uh, to then hit again uh, hard again on Friday. Uh, so I'll jump right into the warm up. So we have a five minute AMRAP of a 150 meter row. Uh, if you don't have a rower in your home, uh, you can do a run uh, for about 100 meters would be good. And then five inchworms into 20 double unders or 35 single unders. And then a one minute plank. Okay, so run through that for five minutes. Just nice and steady, nothing too crazy. We're just trying to warm up here. And then our Metcon is three different AMRAPs. They're each four minutes. Okay, they each start with um, a cardio piece. And then with your remaining time, you're trying to get as many reps as possible um, as, uh, or for whatever movement is afterwards, okay? So our first AMRAP, the row is 500 meters. If you don't have a rower, you're gonna run 400 meters. And then with their time remaining, you're gonna do max wall walks, okay? Um, if wall walks are not an option, you can do uh, essentially uh, an inchworm. Uh, that'll um, be fine, and I'll go over those if you're wanting to really challenge yourself, you do max handstand push-ups. okay? Then we're gonna rest two minutes and then go into our next four minute AMRAP. The row goes down to 350 meters or you're gonna run uh, about two to 250 meters. And then with the remaining time, you're doing single unders or double unders, all right? Then another two minute rest and then final AMRAP is gonna be a even shorter row, 250 meters or a 150 to 200 meter run, then max plank with the remaining time. You can do just body weight, or if you want to challenge yourself even more, you're going to do a weighted plank, putting a plate on your back, or if you have a backpack, you can put that on your back as well. Um, so that'll be uh, the last AMRAP there, um, and then we're going to hit some mobility afterwards. If you're in class, we're doing Ramwad. If you're at home, um, I'll show you a couple of things you can do at home. All right, so let's demo some of these. All right, so real quick with our inchworms, we're gonna bring our hands down to the ground, walk them out, then come down, lift our chest, then bring our hips up, and then walk our hands back to our feet, okay? Now in the workout, if you're not able to do wall walks, that's essentially what you're gonna do instead. Okay, you'll walk your hands out, all right? And then walk your hands back to your feet. Okay, that'll be a alternative. You don't have a wall, you can do a wall walk on, okay? Uh, then our um, plank, just make sure we're staying nice and level. With our hips, you can do forearms, forearms straight. Okay, if you're adding weight on your back, put it dead center um, so it's nice um, and balanced. And any weight is fine. If it's even um, just a 10 pound plate or a five pound plate, uh, that'll challenge you a little more. Uh, and that's basically it with the movements, guys. Pretty simple today. Um, a couple of mobility things um, we can do as far as our upper body goes, just a good um, child's pose here, and then we can bring our hands behind our head, get a little extra tricep and lat stretch. We're gonna go a standing uh, saddle stretch, feet nice and wide, coming down to the center, then to our left and to our right. All right, we're gonna hold those for two minutes a piece. We're gonna get a nice glute stretch with a Pull from the ankle here. You can also pull or push your knee down to get a little extra there. And then hamstring, point the toe up, come down and hold. So two minutes a piece on those. That'll get you a nice full body um, cool down and stretch there. And that's it for our Thursday, guys. So let us know if you have any questions.